Some people have complained that the Me Too movement has gone too far, that some of the stories that have been told shouldn't be told, and this is more like a public lynching. What do you think? I think the question is not if Me Too has gone too far, but if Me Too has gone far enough. Because this can't just be a moment in time where people raise their voice. These brave women that have raised their voices, they want longstanding change. Change that's not just for the day or the month, but for the years and the decades. And that means we have to have the right institutional policies. And those policies have to include due process, investigations, things need to be investigated and swift action needs to be taken. And importantly, we need to end the culture of complicity. We need to end the practice of looking the other way and then it's not your responsibility because it's all of our responsibility. We know that Facebook is making a lot of changes to, as Mark Zuckerberg says, fix itself. And that so much of harassment isn't just happening in the physical world, it is also happening online. Now you have people out there saying, powerful people saying that, you know, there's this backlash against big tech, that tech is addictive or dangerous or that they don't want their kids to use services like Facebook. What are you specifically doing to address those concerns? Well, we're taking a lot of steps, most importantly, meaningful social interactions where in people's newsfeed, they're gonna see more things from friends and family. On the topic of what we're talking about today, Facebook has had long policies against harassment, bullying, against any form of gender-based hate online. And it's something on Facebook we take super seriously. We recently rolled out new anti-harassment tools so that people can take more steps to block people from trying to repeatedly contact them from multiple accounts. And people are able to read or respond to a message without the person knowing whether or not, and not respond to a message without the person knowing they did it. The safety and security of people on Facebook and women on Facebook is something we've always taken very, very seriously.